Welcome back to HP RV Lifestyle, and we are in RV Super Center in Temecula, California. And today we're doing the bad boy of bad boys bunkhouses. This is my favorite bunkhouse floor plan with one of my favorite fifth wheel brands in America, the Sabre 38 DBQ. Two full bathrooms. It is a wife's paradise. Ready, set, and go. This is probably the most beautiful floor plan that Forest River makes. It is a two full bathroom, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So of course, standard on Sabre, you're gonna have an auto level system, windows that slide open to give you air inside the coach. You're gonna have on the back a hitch for your bike rack or storage rack. And of course, a backup camera with a monitor or they're gonna go to the app depending on when you buy it. And of course, standard on a bunkhouse, you gotta have that outside kitchen, but remember that refrigerator only works when you're plugged in. And then you got a big power awning, big pass-through storage. One, two, and opened her up, bingo. Now, as we walk in, it's not as blinding as the last one, so we're gonna do a little less cuts. But you get a sleeper sofa, dinette, island kitchen, cabinets everywhere. Remember, this is for a big family, so you need a lot of places for food and clothing, linens, DVDs, tablets, electronics, you need drawers for those pens, pencils, especially if you're gonna go full time. And this unit has plenty of that. Radio, TV, three burner stove, oven, plenty of counter space, and then you have a residential refrigerator. Remember, if residential refrigerators do not run on propane. So this is gonna run on the batteries. It has an inverter. And then it also has a dedicated solar panel to the coach, which trickle charges a battery. That's a 50 amp panel. If you want, you can upgrade it with your local dealer. Big pantry space for storage right next to the refrigerator. And then that barn door, as we'll go through it in a minute, leads to the bunkhouse. No, you can't have my coffee. Got a one piece sink. As we walk into the bunk bedroom, you're gonna have a sleeper sofa back there with a bunk bed above it. And then we're gonna climb up the ladder real quick. Oh wait, I haven't climbed up yet. Let's go into the storage. Lots and lots and lots of storage. Probably a word I've used a thousand times in my videos in the last four months. Okay, now we're gonna climb up the ladder. Climb up the ladder, you got your loft, the loft bed on one side and another bed on the other. So you probably sleep up to six kids back here. You got smaller kids, probably up to eight. And then guess what? The best part, they have their full own bathroom with an entrance to the outside. So somebody's gotta go potty and they're all muddy. They don't have to trample through the front door. They have a back door that leads them straight into a shower, a toilet and a sink. Two full bathrooms. That is absolutely amazing. That is a paradise. It is the reason why this floor plan in the Saver never lasts on a dealer lot, ever. Now, as we walk up, I'm gonna go into the master bedroom first because Reyna was in the bathroom. And you had, now this can be an all-in-one unless you wanna cut out the top, then you can do a stackable, but for the most part, it's built for an all-in-one washer dryer. And then you have barn doors to go to the main closet for hangables, shoes, vacuum cleaner, whatever your heart's desire. And then we have a king size bed. As you look in the back, you have a little place for your cell phone to put on or book. Plugs to charge your electronics. And then on the other side were drawers and a space to put a TV. And then we go into the bathroom for this huge shower, 
sink, linen closet, medicine cabinet, and then of course a skylight to fit the tall guys. I am not tall. I'm short. Now, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel to be notified about future walkthrough videos. And in the top right hand corner, if you click on that box, it'll take you to the rest of the fifth wheel walkthroughs that I have completed. Enjoy.